three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers on the track race 12. Sponsored by Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association and Dover Downs. Purse 33,801. Roth Hanover owned by Jeff Brazier with George Dennis. Two, Carl is a sunshine kid owned by the Mendy Stables with Sam Beagle. Three, Nicola Kai is owned by Dave Ham, driver Jim Moran. Four, Han Specialty owned by Brian Truett and Richard Eschen with Brian Truett. The five, Wailea owned by Bill Moffat, the driver is Eddie Davis. Number six, Jumper Cable owned by Helen Looney, Joanne Looney King with Jim King Jr. The seven is Cutthroat, owned by post-time partner number four with Eddie Davis Jr. And eight, Shimmering Joseph, owned by Elmer Wilson, Clifford, and Ken Outen. The driver, Eddie Dennis, 11 minutes until post-time. Three-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers behind the gate. DSOA stake final purse, 33800 They're off from the center of the track. Wailea, quickest away. Shimmering Joseph from the far outside. Down toward the inside, Nicola Kai gets away in third. Two lanes further back, Roth Hanover is next. Then comes Carl as a sunshine kid. Han Specialty, jumper cable, and cutthroat as they hit the first turn. Up front now, Shimmering Joseph quickly opens up two, two and a half lanes. Wiley is there in second, followed by Nicola Kai. 27 seconds, they can buy the stand. Shimmering Joseph leads it by two lanes. Wiley got away in second, followed by Nicola Kai. That's Roth Hanover in fourth. Carl is a sunshine kid is next. Han Specialty gets underway. Jumper Cable will follow, and the trailer is cutthroat. They go to the clubhouse turn. Shimmering Joseph, two lanes. In second is Wiley Racing third there is Jim Moran with Nicola Kai as they go by the half in 56 and three fifths. They make the way toward the back stretch. Shimmering Joseph maintains the lead over Wailea. Nicola Kai is still third. Han Specialty is up into fourth. Roth Hanover back to fifth. Covered up his jumper cable. Then it's Carl as Sunshine Kid and coming out from last cutthroat. There midway up the back stretch. Shimmering Joseph has the lead. Here comes. Uh, Han Specialty quickly up on the outside, and Shimmering, Han Specialty just made a break. That caused Jumper Cable to go extremely wide, as is Cutthroat. Three quarters, 124 and three. Shimmering Joseph, here's Wailea, popping to the outside in front of Nicola Kai. Coming on the far outside, after some traffic, is Cutthroat. They come to the top of the stretch, and Cutthroat on the far outside. Shimmering Joseph, Wailea, they come through the stretch. Here's Cutthroat coming with Wailea. They cover the wire, and Cutthroat's going to do it. Cutthroat in front, Wailea and Nicola Kai, 153 and 4. In the winner's circle, number seven, Cutthroat, three-year-old Bay Gilling by Precious Money, owned by post-time partner number four, trained by Whitey Moore, driven to victory by Eddie Davis, Jr. Lifetime mark for Cutthroat. In the winner's circle, once again, publicity director, Marv Bachrod, manager of harness racing, John Hensley, and from the DSOA, Mr. Jim Case. Now, once again, let's go down to the winner's circle, Marv Bachrod with Eddie Davis, Jr., Thank you very much, Jack Gallagher and Eddie Davis Jr. This is quite a, a finish over there coming from way back. Uh, looking forward to this race. Shimmering Joseph has been such an outstanding horse for the last two years, and you were starting from the outside post. What were your thoughts? I just was hoping the pace would go on, you know, and uh, that way carry him along. This, this colt's a nice colt. He was second to that horse at Harrington, and, I mean, he's been good every week. He just he drew bad, and... Race good. Well, you came home in 57 and a fifth, and uh, you had to go extra wide to get there. Uh, when did you really think that you were going to be a major factor in this race? 
Uh, you just had to see how the race come out. Uh, the horse made a break and kind of changed everything that come earlier and I wanted to, but he, he, he raced good. He certainly did. And Bonnie Benson, I know how happy and thrilled you must be to win a race of this magnitude. Tell me about uh, Cutthroat. I'm sure he's one of your favorites. If he wasn't before, he is now. Uh, Shorty, is his nickname is Shorty. Uh, he is one of my favorite horses. We've owned him since he was a yearling. We bought him as a yearling in Kentucky, raced him in the New York Sire Stakes, and he drew bad a lot, uh, but was very competitive last year at the end of the year in these stakes. And he's been a nice horse. He does draw bad, but he's got a big heart, and he likes to come from off the pace, and he raced his race tonight. He certainly did. Uh, tell me about your group, Post Time Partners. You have a, a number of people who went into partnership with you from the very start. Uh, yes, I have a group of different people that buy horses with us. Uh, there's about four partners, four or five partners, Eve Hughes, uh, Craig Hudson, William Emmert, and this horse with me. And uh, none of them could come tonight, but I'm sure they'll be excited to hear that he won. I'm sure they will. Now, uh, insofar as uh, trainer Wadey Moore, has he always been high on cutthroat as, uh, as a racehorse? Uh, yes, yeah, Shorty had a lot of speed as a two-year-old. He had a little trouble handling it early on and drew bad when he raced in New York. And we had another horse that made the final in New York last year. Uh, he just wasn't quite as fortunate. But what, uh, what he's always thought he was the better of the two, and he's proved that tonight. He certainly has. Thank you, Bonnie Benson, Eddie Davis Jr., two of the ingredients in making Cutthroat the champion of the DSOA stake two-year-old Colt final.